Aquaman, swift and powerful monarch of the oceans, with ability to summon and command all creatures of the deep. Aquaman, who with his teenage ally, Aqualad, guards and defends all that lives in the seas against the forces of evil. Aquaman, king of the seven seas. Hello there internet dwellers, welcome back to another video. Today we are reacting to three analog horrors that were sent in by you guys on Discord. If you are not a member of my Discord already, consider joining it down below. Submit something scary into the Scare Baz submission channel and if I react to it, I'll give you a shout out. Also, if you become a member of the channel today, you get exclusive access to premium channels on my Discord where I pop in, say hello. I also talk about behind the scenes stuff and you know, share some little things that I'm working on here and there. So if you wish to see all those exclusive things, be sure to become a member today. The first video we're going to be watching today was sent in on my Discord by Sonic the Hedgehog. Power Outage, FNAF VHS by Valox. Now, Valox, I'm sure on this channel needs no introduction, but I'm going to do it anyway because they're a fantastic creator. Valox is predominantly a FNAF VHS creator. He also does reaction videos to other content, so you should be sure to check out that stuff as well. Each video that Valox does gets better and better, whether that's sound design, animation, just uh, the overall aesthetic of the video. Each video gets better, and I highly recommend you go check their channel out. Before we jump into the video itself, there's something in the description here. Recorded 11-23-1993. Footage found stored in the back room of an abandoned Freddy Fazbear's pizza. This tape was labeled Afton Family Summer, which this clearly doesn't show. Was the owner trying to cover up a dark secret? Could this be how he himself went missing? This disturbing retro footage deserves to be released to the public, especially for the family of the unfortunate night guard. So it is FNAF week, guys, if you're unaware. A lot of good stuff coming out now, and I'm sure a lot of good VHSs are going to be coming out now as well. So let's jump straight into this. Here we go. Look at this. Look at it, like it feels like, like each, this is what I mean, each video is so natural. Like, ah, oh God, I, I, don't, I hate to just kind of completely break immersion, but the, the lighting is phenomenal. Like, the lighting can really sell something, I think. Okay. Yeah. A little bit. I'd love to see Valox work on like a game, uh, like, you know, maybe for the cutscenes of a game or something, because the animation is top tier. It's me. Bro, why are we working here at this point, you know? Oh, wow. Okay, that looks like a costumed Bonnie. That doesn't look like an animatronic at all. That closed a little bit too slow for my liking, but, you know, it's all good. Look at him. Is he, he's reworked these. They look like people in actual suits that are forced to stand there nine hours a day. That's basically what Disney is, isn't it? Yeah, again, the locker, man. That's a good idea. Oh, hang on. Oh, interesting. Okay, this is a smart protagonist. Yeah, turn that fl Wow, you know what? I gotta hand it to this, this, this little protagonist here, the guy filming is doing everything right, except maybe, you know, realistically you wouldn't be filming, but then there's no video there, is there? So that what kind of complaint is that? This office goes back a bit, doesn't it? Oh my god, look how terrifying that is. 
Oh, they've changed the, the sound of the music box. Interesting. That plays with, um... Is it... What what game is it that that plays for? Oh, my God! What was that? Was that the, the night guard screaming? Or Freddy? I like to imagine that that was Freddy screaming, even though it's not. Let's be honest. Such a human scream. It would be even actually more terrifying if it was Freddy that made that sound. That seat bothers me because the star is completely the wrong way. Like it's... Power outage. I mean, listen, each episode addition that Valox comes out with, genuinely there is some improvement there, like really, really good improvement. This one is definitely, I mean, the, the camera movement and animation's always been good, but this one's like the, I'd say the lighting for sure. And it, I don't know, it's, it's uncanny at this point because it feels real and like i said it would be interesting if valox was hired to do maybe cutscenes or you know even make their own game i know it's easier said than done more just collab with someone who knows how to make games because that kind of movement is awesome to see i really enjoy it well there we go guys that was valox be sure to like subscribe all that good stuff we're going to move on to the next video now the next video we're going to be watching was recommended by two people on my Discord, Fizzaroli Stan and Crimson Knight. Harmony and Horror, Season 1 Remastered, Episode 2, Wake Up Banzo, by Battington. So we haven't heard from Battington in a while because um, I'm guessing they're working on other things right now. But whenever they do release something, it is insane. It's always above and beyond. And for those who don't remember Harmony and Horror, I highly recommend you go check it out. I used to react to it when it was coming out, uh, but go check it out for yourself. These are remasters. I'm guessing Battington feels like he can add more to them. Maybe he's got a skill in areas now that can tell the story better. And that is what they're doing right now. Before we get into the video, there is Morse code in the description. That is hard to decipher. I don't know how to decipher this because if you put this into a Morse code translator, it still looks like gibberish. But luckily someone in the comment section called Thunder Lee 73 has translated it. The Morse code translates to this. What is this? This is weeks before the incident. This can't be real. Banzo is dead. This is just a sick puppet show making a mockery of a missing pet. A bunch of documents for Martin to manipulate and paint himself a victim of a supernatural event. Poor Macy didn't have a single clue about any of it. Although that raises the question, what was in the attic? Right, I have no idea what they're referring to, but we're going to jump into this and see what's going on. Warning, flashing lights and loud noises. There's your warning, guys. There's something in the attic. What is in the attic? Okay. I gotta say, I kind of forgotten about the story of Harmony and Horror. I do remember how it ends. But then I remember watching Miracle Child and... I think I remember this episode last time. Because I remember making a comment about something about Play -Doh. Furby here. I, I can't remember. Bit of live action here, bit green screen in, this is good. You remember the puppet show I made for you and your brother? Mm-hmm. Well, that movie is made the same way. You get some toys and puppets, and you put them all on a big stage, and you make them dance and sing. And you just tell fake stories. That's all it is. Mm, yes. Fake stories. Now let's get you to bed. I wish Bonzo were here so he could sleep with me. Bonzo was the dog that was killed, right? It'll be okay. And is this the dad? Is this the toy maker here? The guy that just went crazy? I promise. Do you think Bonzo will ever come back? I, uh. 
I killed him. I'm sorry. He's dead. Bonzo's a brave little pup. Yeah. I'm sure he'll turn up eventually. Do you remember what I told you happens to the squirrels that we used to see at the park? They sleep during the winter? Yes, that's right, smart girl. Well, they sleep all throughout the winter. And then what happens during spring? Squirrels come out to play. That's right, great job. Okay, so where are you going with this? So, that dog's maybe dead. Somewhere deep in the forest, there's a little doghouse. And in that doghouse, there's Bonzo sleeping soundly. Here's the thing that I always struggle with as a, as a parent. Do you tell them like it is or do you cover it up? Because I feel like if you if you tell it like it is, you're just you're making your child grow up too quick, right? Like the the truths about stuff. So you got to let them build into their fantasy and come to their own conclusions. But then it's like, will they trust you at that point when they're like, hang on, you've been lying to me this whole time. Santa isn't real. Freaking the tooth fairy isn't real. There isn't a hut out there for Banzo and stuff. I don't know. I, I, I feel like I'd struggle like that as a parent. I don't know what to do. Uh, I think I'd do gentle parenting, but you know, let truth slip in every now and then. Or maybe tell the truth in a gentler way. I don't know what I would do. Parents, you have my full respect because I, I just... I wouldn't want to traumatize my child. Then again, I wouldn't want to lie to my child. Then again, I know that lying to my child is protecting their feelings. Yeah, you gotta let a kid be a kid, right? And he'll come back in spring? Yeah. Okay, I'll turn the captions he'll on. Come back in spring. I hope he's okay. You know, I was gonna wait till your birthday to show you this, but... Here's his corpse. I have something for you. It's his head. I got you his head. What is it? Is it a gun? Uh, is he gonna shoot her? No. What is it? This is your very own Bonzo Stuffy. Just for you. <laughs> Funny That's pretty cute. Yeah. yeah, he sure is. Doesn't it turn out that the re like Bonzo's soul is actually in there? What do you mean? Stitches? When Tommy got hurt, he had to get stitches. Tommy. Oh, no, no, honey, you don't have to worry. Dad just uses stitches to make little buddies for you and your brother. A stitch buddy! Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess he is a stitch buddy. And this stitch buddy is going to go right over here. There we go. And he's going to make sure to protect Over where? Where'd it go? While you sleep. Okay. Alright, sweetheart. This is uh really good actually. This is super good authentic. Night. I really like how this is done. Sweet dreams. Good night. Is that an actual is it alright, here's the thing. I I don't want to break immersion again. Is this an actual set here or is this like rendered in? Because if this is rendered in, then that was really good. Good night, Bonzo. Thank you could have at least given Bonzo to the girl to actually sleep with, not just staring at her like a weirdo. Look at this sun as well. Why is the sun always like characterized like this? With like really detailed facial features. That's terrifying. I could not sleep with that thing in my room. Or that thing. Or any of these things. Okay, so who's recording this? This is 1.32 p.m. December 11th. Go back. What was the, this one? Okay. So this is after interesting i don't know why but i just got mermaid man and barnacle boy in my head and i just felt the urge to scream it like the narrator uh, i'm holding myself back from doing random stuff what in God's name is that? What the fuck? What is that actually? Right. Um, I'm confused about the, the timeline here. Was that always in the attic? 
Or is that Banzo? Is that a manifestation? Because Banzo's... Oh, no, this is back in 28th of... Oh, dear. Has he, like, grown? Oh, good lord. Hey, don't look at us, but... Hey! We're, we're just... No, we're just... Where did he go? He went from, like, a Chucky-sized thing to a human-sized thing. I'm trying to think, does it, in the original, doesn't Banzo kill the child? Or is he like looking over the child? Oh, hello. There he is. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Aww. He's lost. He just wants some love. Hey, man. Right. I like this comment here by Tyler Nova, uh, Novak, sorry. Uh, I really love the remake's version of Martin. In the original, he was a neglectful, abusive father. It seemed like he didn't give two shits about his family in any way. He was almost too evil that it made you wonder why the wife hadn't left him much earlier, or at least called the police on him. But in this version, we see him attempting to make a ver very genuine connection with his daughter. We know that Martin hit Banzo with the car, but we never knew if it was an accident or on purpose. The original cartoony level villain martin would the original cartoony level villain martin would make you think it was on purpose but this version makes you think it was on accident you hear the hint of sadness in his voice as he talks about the dog going away and coming back the connection martin is making with his daughters is genuine and with love and care it seems like he genuinely loves his family of course even despite that we know that he's a monster banzo being alive in the form of the plush means that he likely did something sick and twisted with the dog's body if this is the same type of Martin that we know. Anyway, I'm tired now, so no more yapping. Okay. Yeah, I like this comment because maybe like this is a different version of Martin, the toy maker, where maybe out of desperation, I've been like, oh my God, I just killed my daughter's dog. He, he does this unspeakable act out of love that he thinks is completely warranted because it's like he's doing it for the sake of his daughter where he somehow meshes these parts together. I don't know what the magic is that makes these things come to life. But I feel like he maybe did it out of guilt and not out of just complete, like this guy says, cartoony villainry. And I feel that that, that really makes the character arc of Martin more interesting because if he starts off as a guy with genuine intentions, but then like slow slowly descends into madness i feel like that's a lot better than just being like Meh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what i mean just a weird like waluigi type character and I, I i was thinking this whole time when watching that clip like the 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 authenticity of it feels so real uh like the the, the writing there was really really good i think if that's what you're planning to do with the character batting to him, of like making him go from guilt to like, you know, insanity or whatever happens. I don't know. Maybe he wasn't, he wasn't always a bad guy. He was just turned into a bad guy because of certain events that happened, even though nothing really excuses if he's going with the original story, killing your whole family, basically. Nothing excuses that. But we're seeing a different side of Martin for sure. And I really enjoy that. Battington, that was phenomenal. Keep up the amazing work. I really look forward to seeing where the rest of the series goes. For now, let's move on to the final video. The last video was recommended to me on my Discord by Cleo. Aquaman Prevention, 1964. The Metahuman Archives by Oblivion. Oblivion, formerly known as Siltrix. I think that's that's Oblivion, right? I think that's how you say it. I didn't even realize they changed their name. I was confused for a second thinking, hang on, is this someone, what, what happened? I swear that I was just called Siltrix. Yeah, I guess that's their new name now. Welcome Oblivion. So before we jump into this, this is basically Oblivion. Sorry, I need to get used to saying that new name now. Has been working on like a DC horror universe with Green Lantern, Superman, Batman, Flash, now Aquaman, pretty much the whole of the Justice League, I think, is going to get their own horror thing. And this one is specifically about Aquaman. Before we jump into the video, the description says, humanity is unworthy. And maybe that is the case. If you look around what's happening now in the world, you know, we need a bit of hope. We need some hope core in our life. Okay, we need, we need good will, 
good intentions and good heart but whenever you turn on the tv it just seems to be destruction and decay and it's quite depressing let's be the light guys let's be the love let's not turn this into philosophy let's just jump straight into this video this is the last video once again guys be sure to go and subscribe like all the videos of the creators that i've shown you here today they will be linked in the order that i watch them with little timestamps of which one is where so yeah here we go meta human archives the following tape contains... No, we're not going to do that. We are discussing ways to prevent an attack from the Aquaman. The Aquaman... The Aquaman. The ability to breathe underwater and control sea life. Here right, okay, wow. Well. There are signs that will indicate he is nearby. As Even as Aquaman, I'll still be terrified. Like, I know that's my domain, but I'll be like, I don't know what's under there. I'm not going down there. Beach. A double red flag with his seal will be raised. We have set up ocean radar detectors to track his movement. If you notice nearby marine life start acting strange and abnormal, that means he is a short distance away. You know, I, I, I'm just going to throw this in there because I think it is kind of relevant. Um, the whole, like, you know, fish acting irregular. It reminds me of in Red Dead 2, if you're in, like, a wooded area and you hear birds singing, and if you shoot your gun, everything goes quiet. Remove yourself from any body of water as soon as possible. Okay, well, so if you're in the middle of the ocean, you're screwed. He's the strongest in the water. Whoa! Hang on a second. What is... Hang on. Go back. That's a mouth right there. Is it, this is a mouth here. Is there someone inside that mouth? There we go, look. Ugh! How big is Aquaman in this? It's like a Cthulhu-esque... Oh, God, there he is. Got his little trident out. Oh, okay. I think there is translations in the comment section of what that says, so we'll, we'll, we'll look at that afterwards. That's binary, right? If you encounter him directly, follow these steps. If he tries to act friendly with you, politely keep on driving your boat. <laughs> hey, come on! Just jump in the water! Come on, it's beautiful in here! Come on! Why have you got a gun down there? What? This little thing? No, this ain't a gun. If he comes onto the boat, it's going to harm Why are you him. salivating? If you get too close to him, you may experience ciguatera poisoning. If you What's ciguatera poisoning? If it doesn't explain it, we'll search it up. Him. Okay, so they didn't explain what it was, and I completely forgot to search up what it was. So let me just do it for you now. Ciguatera poisoning, from this definition that I am seeing online, is a foodborne illness caused by eating reef fish contaminated with ciguat toxins. Ciguat toxins are a class of toxic polycyclic polyethers found in fish that cause ciguatera chemical structure of the ciguatoxin CTX1B. Woo! Try and keep a far distance from him. So you don't get sick. Stay okay. Out. So this is a thing that uh, the closer you are, the more sick you're going to get. Okay. So it's like radiation poisoning almost. The ocean at night. Report something if you see something. And remember, if you come in contact with a dangerous metahuman, neutralize, 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 neutralize. Neutralize a metahuman? Yeah, with what, buddy? I mean, if Superman, give me some kryptonite bullets. Just empty a clip into Superman's chest. Neutralize, That's pretty easy, but... Humans. What are you meant to do against Aquaman? Because he can breathe in water and on land. It's not like you can just like, like throw him out of water and then he starts flopping around like a fish trying to get back into the water. He's powerful. This guy's like Poseidon. He's the, the god of the water. You laughed and made fun of what I can do. It is a little bit silly, isn't it? Have you seen that Family Guy thing where like someone's being assaulted on a beach and then Aquaman's in the way of like, Hey! You're lucky you're not doing that over here. Once I show you what I did to the writer, there will be no more laughter. Who's the writer? Bro, hang on. What are you doing in the middle of, like, you're on, what is this? This is a rowboat. And you're in the middle of where? Where are you? In the middle of the ocean. Bro, you need to... You good, bro? Just moaning. What? Well, what is that? Deceived. We apologize for the technical difficulties. Please enjoy the. Please enjoy this song while we get normal broadcasting back up. Let's listen. Oh, this is a beautiful song. Hang on, did that just say something, or is that? Okay, never mind. Okay, there's the Morse code. Okay, well, we're, 
we're gonna just... You know, I am so grateful for people on the internet who go out of their way to actually um, decode stuff like this. Because I'm, I'm not lazy. I could do it. It would just take me so long. I used to know Morse code as well. There is no salvation. Oh, there is flashing lights, isn't there? My goodness. Morse code translates, there will be no heroes left. Now that we aren't serving you, you're locking us. Uh, you've destroyed my home, you've destroyed the oceans. Humanity's sin will not go unpunished. What about the uh, binary? Here we go. That was, by the way, that was by uh, Nukes1395. So, you know, without these people, I'd be nothing. No one, two, three, four, translated the binary. First binary code, goodbye, Jimmy. Second binary code, I will deceive them all. So Aquaman would deceive them all by doing what? As in, like, he came off, came off as a good guy and then was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to turn now. It would be terrifying, actually. But then again, if you're out in the ocean, you're screwed. But if you're on land, just you've, you've got a gun, you know, and you've maybe just got like, I don't know how you'd kill Aquaman, throw him in a fryer or something like that. I, I don't know what, what you do with him. But I'd feel a lot more comfortable on land because if you think about it, he can control wildlife like in the water. But what are they going to do? Because they still need water to breathe. So I'll be like, go! And then he'll like, they'll just flop on on shore like that they're screwed so yeah aquaman you're you've got such a shit power yeah i'm saying it come after me don't please don't i'm joking don't actually come after me well there we go guys that was the last video once again be sure to like subscribe to all creators showcased here today absolutely phenomenal i have nothing but good words about these people if you did enjoy my reaction content why not leave a like rating subscribe all that good stuff thank you for the support as always guys it means the world to me and i will see you guys in the next video take care guys